Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Right, I can't remember if I filmed this or not. But, you're right, my lad don't want to be on film. But for those of you who ask, or who have thought in the past, how well does the clay stay on? Does it ever fall off? Well, we've got a hammer and chisel in it, trying to get it off. So no, you certainly don't have to worry about it falling off, that is for sure. But anyway, back to the video. Right, I can't remember if I've just shown you pictures of this. I've done this about 20 times, you know. Actually, three, but you know. 20 and three, it's about the same, isn't it? Far too many. And it just isn't selling at all. It's been sat in the garage for months. So, I've got a completely different vibe that I'm going to do for it, I think. So my son is very gracious because he likes taking anything to bits or smashing anything up. So he's taking all the clay off for me. I may be taking the bottom off. I may be taking these little edges off. I'm not sure yet. But I just saw it, thought I'd show you that no, the clay certainly doesn't fall off. And it doesn't come off very easy. So once we've got it all off and sanded right back, I'll let you know what we're going to be doing right then with uh, I decided these if you remember we're on the sides like that as such where are we like that and I don't want this edging so I took them off they come off the front dead easy oops Christ I'm holding you and it's come off there dead easy but obviously there's nothing on the front here so I've got my jigsaw out and I'm going to cut all along this line and just take this fancy bit off because I don't want it. I want it to be... If I'm going to mess about doing it again, it's going to be quite a modern looking one this time. Alright, so I'm going to chop that off. And then reattach it and see what it looks like. Okay? Right. <laughs> right, we, uh, as we can see, this ain't going to work look, is it? Because, now I've got all that gap. Why didn't you think of that? I, I, I'm, I'm starting to worry about myself, you know. I mean, obviously, it fits there. And if you chop it off, then it not fit there. I haven't got any wood that's thick enough. So, it's absolutely blistering up. So, I'm going to nip out and get some, I think. And keep out the sun for a little bit. So... I'm going to measure it and go and get some and get them to cut it for me at b and Alright. Crikey me. I'm not joking. This has taken me all afternoon. It's now about 7 o'clock at night. What a bleeding ball ache, really. Right. So I took that off, that bottom. Put a flat piece on. I've ordered some legs. They're going to be here tomorrow. And then I've just sanded everything, filled everything, took all the, most of the damage off. Right, now this, I'm not actually worried about this too much. It's rather textured, if you can see. I think that's why I decided to do everything with it in the first place. And I'm just knackered, I can't be arsed. But you're not going to see most of that. So I'm not worried. What I've got to do... Now, is that piece of wood there, I've got to chop so that it fits on here. And then, I'm going to chop out, I don't know if you can see, it's, it's going to come down here like this. And then round. And it's going to do the same that side, I'll do one and then I'll do the other one to match. And then inside, I'm going to use my... Uh, that cane cane stencil wicker stencil whatever it's called i can't remember what it's called now so i'm gonna it's gonna be black i think black and gold i don't know if i've ordered gold legs or black legs whichever it don't matter i can spray them gold I've got gold handles and that's what i thought i'd do with it the drawers 
I've not decided with the drawers yet. I ain't got that far. So, obviously, with this going to be done in the black, I don't know whether to paint it black and do the cane stencil in like a brown, well, a, a creamy brown kind of colour, or whether to paint all this a creamy colour and do a black stencil. I don't know. I might get it out and see which one looks the best. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to go and get some paint for it tomorrow. But I might give it all a coat now to see what else needs sanding more. Because it brings up the detailing more, doesn't it? And I've taken those bottom strips off there. But like I say, that is going to hang slightly over it anyway, so... I think I'll be all right. Yeah, I might get my stencil out and have a look. I'll not be a minute. Right then, I know it's not perfect. I've just rushed it so that I could stick something up to have a look. But the top one has got obviously the black background and like the creamy coloured top. And the bottom one has got the cream background and the black top. I'm hoping, now I did only just slap this on I've got to admit, but if you can see it's not very neat at all. So I'm hoping I might do it, once I've decided I might do a neater one and do it with a proper stencil brush to see how neat it comes out because if it does, I don't think it will, but if it does come out like that that looks atrocious. I did put a lot less paint on the black one. So, if we stand back, what do we think? Now, don't forget, everything else is going to be black. So, I am kind of leaning towards the bottom one. I think I'll get the family out and see what they say. And then I'll let you know. Right then, I've asked the daughter, she says they're both crap, and then she walked off. So that with that. The son prefers the top one, and Ubby's with me, he likes the bottom one. So we're going with the bottom one. Alright, so that's... Right then, it's the next day. I've given it all a couple of coats of black up to yet. Now I've painted again this two coats of like the creamy beige colour and I've just popped this on here I'm just going to do a little bit and see what it looks like so I'm just going to get myself together and then we'll be back right then that's the first bit done so I've left that to dry so I don't smudge anything and I've gone on to the next drawer so I'll do that one and then I'll come back to that one and then go back to that one. All right. Right then, that's all a bit done. As you can see, I've I've only bled there and just a little bit there. I think I'll get a bit too carried away. So I'll give it 10 minutes or so to dry then I'll touch in. I've not been particularly around all the top and edges because I've still got to chop my wood out to sit over the top. So I might do that next or I might stamp my drawers. I might do that next because I think they're going to be a bit awkward because I'm not going to be able to get the stencil in. So I might do that next. But I just thought I'd show you how it's uh, progressing. Oh, and my legs have come. They come today. So it's only these ones. It's just this sort again. Hang on. So they'll be... I think it'll just help make it look a lot more modern. So I'm quite happy with those. And there was either 15 or 20% off those ones as well. So I'll leave you the link for that one. Just in case it's still on. You can get those ones in that size in gold. I think they were the six inch legs I picked up. 
I was going to get four and then I thought well it's quite a big piece so I got the six. All right. Right then. This is the only way I can think of to do it for what tools I've got. Now I've chopped two of, two of these out. This will fit and cover the door. And I've got the biggest bowl that I'd got and obviously cut this circle there and then done it in straight lines and I've taped them both together so fingers crossed they're exactly the same and then I've just drilled a few pilot holes to help me keep it as a as a curve so I'm going to chop it out with my jigsaw and I'm hoping it might look all right or otherwise we're back to the drawing board again so I've got no one to film me that's why I'm having to keep cut you off because there's nobody about but I'll cut it and we'll see how we get on right then this has worked absolutely lovely there's a couple of bits that I've just got to tidy up but I've cocked up again again I've cocked up what should I have done the second one should have been upside down so that they both go because that bit and that bit aren't the same so I'll take you in take you up and show you what I mean and then I'm gonna have to cut another one do you see what I mean oh I got worse but at least But at least I can decide now whether I want a thick bit at the top or a thin bit. And I think I prefer the thin bit at the top. So I'm going to go back outside and cut another one properly. <laughs> See you in a minute. Right, that looks a little better, doesn't it? Right then, I'm going to give all the edges a sand. I'm going to touch up all these bits now that they're dry that I haven't done and then we're going to stick it well I'm going to paint it black first and then I'll stick it on so that I can do the edges because you know what I'm like and I'm really quite pleased it's looking it's looking how I hoped it would so I'm just going to like I say give it a sand and just hopefully get rid of these little bits like that I don't think I've done too bad saying it's a jigsaw and at least both imperfections will be on both sides now so not bad at all so yeah I'll sand it give it a paint and then we'll stick it on okay right then this is as far as I can go I think for tonight I was going to do all the drawers cream and I don't like it so I've already given across the top edge look a coat. Crikey, that looks like a yard brush. Now, tomorrow, when everything's dried and everything, I'm going to draw, well, I'm going to tape off, so I've got a, a black line going down here, and then I'll tape off so I can tape, do all that black properly, and the same down here, and the same across the bottom. So I'll do that for both of those tomorrow. I don't know, because when you've had so much paint it pulls up don't it i'm gonna leave all this to sit on and dry i've been touching up all the bits so that looks so much better now there is a little bit more that just needs like touching up like that bit there that's only had one coat so but yeah i don't know what happened with that one but i've kind of gone off kilter so I'm going to bring my black paint down to accommodate it and hopefully you not notice. I'm really annoyed actually that I've done that. But, never mind. And this like beige paint or whatever, even though it's like a mist tint from being q it's absolutely crap, it's got no pigment to it. Or whether it's old now, I'm not quite sure. There is only a bit in it, but I quite like the colour for for the colouring as such so everything's taped and glued I've filled all this now where um, 
I'd attached the front so that's all nice and smooth now it's not got a great gap down it and that's had a coat of paint I'm gonna do I don't know what I don't know what to do with the doors I'm not doing this look on them because it just takes too long so I may just paint them black with that being black there I might paint the shelf as well so then you've got and then just leave the rest of it but I will definitely paint these doors and it's like this bit here as well or that I think I'm going to paint that in black as well because I don't think that looks right white not white the cream so when everything's dried like I said I'm going to leave it all to dry and for the glue to dry on that and everything now and then we'll come back tomorrow but I'm really quite happy with it I think it's well if you can remember what it looked like before even the hubby said I'm quite impressed with that idea that you've come up with there and that's not very often I get to, I'm quite impressed so it must be okay all right so the top oh it's only half six but we're gonna have something to eat so like I said oh I'm really annoyed with that now if the paint was a better pigment I'd sand that down and do it again but I just know that it's gonna look crap and it's gonna take a lot of paint uh, I'm not sure you'll see tomorrow whether I've decided to do it or not all right See you tomorrow guys right then this is where we're at like I say I left this till the morning what the hell's that now oh it's a right bugger this but anyway it all stuck it hadn't fell off this morning so I've just given it two coats and I've done the border up round the drawers just to help try and disguise the fact that I'd put on cockeyed. I think it's helped a little bit. I don't think you notice it off as much. It's turning out a little better than what I thought it was going to be actually. I've just took the shelf out and that's had its first coat so I'm on to inside now. And I've just painted the back of the drawers. So I'm just going to paint the back of the drawers and the shelf just for an effect. The bottom bit looks a bit naff though, doesn't it? I can't decide whether to paint all that or not. I don't know. I suppose I ought to really, didn't I? But then it's like, where do you stop, isn't it? But anyway, I just thought I'd let you have a look. It's really looking quite nice. I thought about putting on just a second the hardware that I took off so I think that might add nicely with the black legs but I'm not sure but they're the ones that I was going to put back on so like I say we'll we'll have a look I'll give this another coat anyway and then we'll I think we're about ready then for putting the legs and stuff on I don't know Alright. Crikey, right. All the bloody mess that's everywhere. <laughs> Masking tape everywhere, cloths, waxes, different waxes. Come outside. I've got a pot full of brushes that I've just used on this one project. Because they kept drying on me. But, what do we think? Isn't she worth it? As the advert says. Really? I put it in the wrong place, aren't I, for filming? What do we think to the legs? Hang on. Oh. I think they're a, na a nice added touch and it's raised it up some. And I redid the drawer as well. We just didn't like it. It didn't look right, you could really tell it was off. So I redid it. And then inside.
all I did was paint the doors and paint oh, and paint the shelf. I didn't bother doing all that in there as well. So, I think I might do something. I might do something just in there. I'm not sure. I think she looks lovely. So, you'll have to let me know what you think. And this is that new cane stencil that I've used, which has turned out a lot better than what I thought it was going to do. So, but like I say, let me know what you think in the comments box below. If you're not subscribed, please do so. It really does help out my channel and I'll speak to you later. See you again. Bye.